Now let's set up our graphics window for what we want to do. So we're going to come over here to work plane. And this is work plane settings. So we'll click on that. And we are doing a Cartesian analysis. We want to show both the grid and the triad. So the grid's not showing right now. Here, this is the triad when you're first the triad. So that's the X, Y, and Z. We're going to build up the grid here, give the settings for it. So we're going to enable snap every 12 inches. Right? Because again, we set up that uh, cross section area is 8 inches. So this better be in inches too. Uh, we're going to have spacing for our grid every 12 inches. Uh, we'll have zero for our minimum here. Our maximum will be, I just hit tab there, by the way. Tab will be 72 inches. All right, so going back here, let's see why we're doing that. All right, so we got three times three is six. Or sorry, three plus three is six. Six times 12, and that's our 72. All right, so we're trying to get, we want to be able to have um, points where we can click right here on each one of these, for these nodes locations. So that's the 72. And then we don't have to worry about tolerance, go ahead and click OK. So let's get back to our ANSYS window. All right, so now let's display our working plane. We've defined the grid. Let's actually display it. Oh, where'd it go? All right, so this is where you want to zoom out. We're really, really zoomed in. That's what we see. This is basically one big square. So we want to zoom out. So find your, your zoom out button over here. And click on this several times to get to the point where you're seeing all the squares. And then we're just going to shift it over. So pan left and pan down. And let's hit plus on that to get it bigger. There we go. So if you have one more, yeah, we're beyond the window. So let's go minus right there so we can see everything. It looks good. All right. So now let's put some nodes in this thing. So we'll go preprocessor, pre come down here, modeling, or model what we're doing. And we want to create nodes on working plane. That's what we just defined. We created the working plane. So we'll click there. And now what it wants us, this is the called the picker window, and we want to pick where we want. So we're going to uh, start here at 0, 0. All right. And then we'll move over to 3 feet, 1, 2, 3. Pick this node. So let's go back to presentation again. So we're right here. All right. And by the way, if you print off the handout, which I'll, again, I'll have in the same location as we have for the past couple lectures, uh, basically look at the link in the in the notes, uh, which will get you to that. Um, that'll show you where the where the notes are at, and you can follow along probably a little better for me bouncing back and forth. All right, so we got three inches there. Uh, we'll do the one up here at three. Sorry, not three inches, three feet, thirty-six inches. Uh, thirty-six inches up here for this node, and then we'll go across for node four, and then node five out here. And we'll click OK. Oh, by the way, if you miss one, uh, so maybe I, maybe I put one here by accident, we'll just come back here, unpick, and see how the arrow flipped directions. Right, so let me show you again. So pick is up, unpick is down. So we'll unpick this one, All right, and then we can go back to what we're doing. All right, so go ahead and click OK. And you can see they're numbered. Can hardly see the one in there because it's kind of messed up, but two, three, four, and five. And it does matter the order that you pick them for the node numbers to show up uh, in the same in the same way. All right. So to highlight these nodes here, the, the grid is really there just to help us find where it was where to pick the nodes at. So we're gonna display working plane and uncheck that. And now maybe we can shift pan it up here and maybe can we zoom in and still yeah there we go so let's zoom in so we can see everything a little bit better all right so to maintain the numbering let's go up here to plot controls and numbering so numbering right here and let's see here we want uh, let's keep our node numbers make sure they stay on so we'll check that uh, element attribute number let's do that as well so we can see the element numbers um, See those, and that looks good. So click apply, and OK. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. We haven't put any elements in yet, so those aren't showing up. All right, to make sure we got everything that looks good, we can come over here to list. Um, no, we only have five, so it's not a big deal. Um, but in some other cases that we're going to be looking at in the future, it's going to matter um, where those show up. So we'll just go coordinates only and go ahead and OK. And list the nodes saying we're at uh, node one is at zero zero, node two is at 36 inches, y equals zero, et cetera, et cetera. All right, notice there's no uh, units shown in here, so we have to again be consistent with units. 
as we go through our model. All right, so we'll again, save DB. All right, so let's uh, define some elements here. So we got our nodes, so we're going to define the elements. So we click on elements there. And we're going to do auto numbered through our nodes. Right? Nodes we just created, so click through nodes. Uh, picker window comes up again. And again, order matters for what the element numbers are going to be. So we'll do we'll start with um, node one, which you can't really see there, and then node two. And there's a lot of ways we can do this next step here. We want to basically apply and say, yep, that's going to be element one. So the first way I'll do is I'll say, let's come over here and just click apply. And it pops up there with a the number. Uh, let's define the next one. So we'll go from two up to three. And another way, instead of hitting apply, you can middle click. So just middle click and that works as well. All right, so then let's go from three to four is the next one. I'll middle click now. And let's go from two up to four. Computer kind of lagged there for a bit. And let's go from two to five. Middle click, and then we'll do from four to five. And middle click. All right, that looks good. And we'll go ahead and click OK. All right, so again, save DB. Again, let's do it uh, more than we need to, just to make sure we catch everything we want. All right, so we have uh, nodes defined, we got elements defined. Uh, what's next? We need to define boundary conditions, all right? Loads and or boundary conditions. So there's two places we can do that. One is here under loads, and the other one is under solution. We have defined loads. So we'll go here under solution, and we'll apply structural loads and do displacement. Uh, nodes, which are in here. Right. So we're just going to basically constrain this so you can see apply some displacement or rotation on nodes. And in this case, we want to fix some things. We want to make sure some things don't move. And so we'll pick node one and we'll pick node three. And we can middle click or we can click apply. I'll middle click here. And we're going to say all degrees of freedom. We don't want either of those points. Those, those are affixed to a wall. They're not moving in any direction. So we'll say all degrees of freedom are a constant value. And that constant value is zero. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And so you get these nice little arrows pointing that there's constraints on both of those. Uh, let's go back here. And we'll do uh, apply structural, not displacement now, but force slash moment. And we'll apply on nodes. All right, and just double checking here, going back to our picture here, we got 500 pounds uh, being applied down the vertical direction, 500 pounds here as well. All right, so let's apply to node four and node five. And again, middle click. And the direction of the force is gonna be in the Y direction. So we look down here at triad. Okay, so we got Y direction. And this is indicating that Y is positive going upwards. So we wanna go in a negative 500 pounds. And click OK. And we see the red arrows indicating, well, it's not being applied this way, but pulling down that node is effectively the same thing. So save DB.